Right, something really different this time. A um, bit of a weird one. An animal gun trap. So this isn't like a, a booby trap one. This is a gun trap for animals. Um, really weird. Um, if you was, you know, when they did used to use things like this, they wouldn't have used a small, cheap, low-powered air rifle. This is actually an antique air rifle. I shouldn't really probably be doing this with this. But you'd probably be better off using a shotgun. Um, and you could also do it with forked sticks rather than build this frame. And if, if it was done like a frame, this would have to be sat up on a log or something and nailed to it. You wouldn't want it on the floor. It would have to be fairly high up. Otherwise the animal will be reaching down when it grabs it. And it's really simple. All it works on is... The gun is kind of free swinging like this. And when it is pulled forward, it pulls the trigger. And on the end, you tie some sort of bait. I think something good like a bit of beef jerky or maybe you could use a cloth, you know, with meat in it. Wrapped round tight, round the end of the barrel. And when the animal pulls it... It shoots straight through. So you've got to get the animal in the right position. So this being on the floor wouldn't be any good. You would need it quite high up. So the animal was reaching up to it. Um, I'll pull it and then you can kind of see how it sets the trigger off. So the animal would come along. Pull it. And then pull the trigger. And then it would be shot in the face basically. Um, I'll bring the camera around to a different angle. And show you some of it. So you can see how it's working there. So just got a bit of string that comes all the way around this frame over the trigger. And then the gun here is just held by a piece of string. So it's just kind of free floating and just hanging like this. And when it is pulled, like I said, it pulls the trigger and fires it. And the other end is just in between a fork. Now I've seen this done an old picture where the gun is hanging from a branch um, two sticks banged in the ground create these two for the trigger mechanism and the front part is just a forked stick with a barrel sat in it and another bit of wood tied over the top so I load this and then we'll just pull it and set it off right, so when I say I'm gonna load it I mean I'm gonna dry fire it. I probably shouldn't do that um, but just to show you kind of how it would work, this gun is so low powered that you could probably put your hand in front of it and it wouldn't do anything. But just so you know. So that's kind of safe at the minute. And then you would put that like that. And when the animal pulls that bit at the end. Well, I'm sure you'll know this isn't loaded. I'm going to slightly point it out the way so it's not pointing towards me. But so you can see it. And then when the, the bait is pulled, the gun fires. Alright, so yeah, like I said, a bit of a weird one. Different one. Um, I know a lot of people don't like people showing things like this. But to be honest... No one is going to set a gun trap up, not really. Um, unless he was absolutely desperate and it was some terrible survival situation, you know. I really, even then, I don't know why people would set up a gun trap. So I don't think anyone's going to copy this or do this because um, you really do risk losing a gun, which is daft, really. So, yeah, something different a gun trap, which kind of goes off just by the animal pulling the bait on the barrel into the gun. Alright, cheers for watching, I'll see you later.